before getting into the fight for Faltrot the Soul Taker, I'm going to show you a route to get to this boss, uh, as you don't really want to burst in through the front doors and trigger the entire village. So, what you're going to do is go into rack form. If you haven't got rack form yet and you don't know how to do it, I'm going to just quickly show you that now. Rack form will probably save your life. So have your vermin's nest and you will want to create a putrid rat. Once you've created the putrid rat, you only need one. Kill it because the boss will spawn inside your room. Kill that and you will get your rat form. So you're unsure what rat form is. It's as simple as that. So now that you have rat form. This is the location you want to be going to, this ancient village here, to fight Foul Trot. I highly suggest you do this before trying to advance onto any harder bosses like Azrael the Sunbringer. And I'll get to that in a moment. So, this is the way you want to go. You want to go to this way gate here. You want to be in a rack form straight away. And try to avoid the roads as much as you can. Because the lurkers which shimmer and you can't really see them very well. They'll get you and it's just more hassle to deal with along the route. So try to avoid them as much as possible. Stay in rat form. Be careful though. If you move directly in front of a, like a, a, mob, a mob or anything else. They will trigger and they'll um, take you out of rat form. So... Once you get to the village, this is the location you want to go to here. You can go round the back. So you want to come here, come down here where the X is. And this is where you want to have the fight. This area here, just in this little bit here. Now, because if you go in through the main entrance here, you will end up triggering the Banshees and the Mages. So this is the route you want to go in here. So the reason you want to be doing Faltrot before you do Azrael the Sunbringer is simply because of the Phantom's Veil Cloak you uh, get upon killing Faltrot. It's the plus 15 holy resistance rating which really you only really want to care about regarding this for now anyways. I will get into the holy resistance and stuff there for my Azrael the Sunbringer video which is coming out shortly. So the skills I used were Pestilence, Chaos Volley, and for my ultimate, Spectral Guardian. And I stuck with either the Dark Silver Reaper or the Sanguine Axe. Now, you can use the Reaper perfectly fine for this as you're fighting undead. And you get bonuses to fighting the undead with the Reaper. But, yeah. Anyways, so I used Pestilence simply because when you hit a target with this... It will take an increased damage of 25% for 5 seconds. And I have pretty high magic damage. So I like using Chaos Volley. It's, it's a personal favorite. It really does uh, hit the target hard. And it applies Chaos Burn. So it puts a dot on the enemy. Also, Spectral Guardian. This is a great uh, barrier for you. It spawns a guardian, drops a shield on you, protects you. So if you need to quickly get a potion in or anything like that, it's great. But what it also does, it, it swings its arm and like does a big AOE and knocks target back. And does huge damage to the targets, which helped me in the initial starting phase of this fight. If you do find this video helpful, consider subscribing or becoming a YouTube member by hitting that join button.
Dat is het plan. Ik ben al een keer zo eist.